Good evening everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with the next puzzle in the Sudoku U series. Um, before I start, I want to thank Chetty Cathy for offering to record the first puzzle in the Sudoku, this particular Sudoku U series. Um, and of course, uh, hopefully you have all gone and checked out Chathy Cathy's Ch Chatty Cathy's channel uh, where she has been showcasing her basic, basically her whole Sudoku journey. And it's really fascinating to see what people who haven't been in the hobby for a long time don't know. Um, it's really, really, I I'm finding watching that journey fascinating and I hope you are as well because it's really good to see. Um, so thank you very much for everything you've been doing. Um, of course, uh, this is a puzzle from Signet Sudoku Volume 2. You can find links below to both this puzzle and to where you can get Signet Sudoku Volume 2. Um, and this is from the students of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards, uh, Puzzles and Paradox class. Class. This puzzle, of course, is Killer by Chaos. Um, and I don't know much about this one, except I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. So let's look at the rules. Normal nine by nine Sudokus. Uh, so this every every box in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have killer cages. So digits in cages must not repeat and must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. We have little killers. So along these diagonals, the digits placed on the diagonals must sum to the number that is indicating the diagonal and digits may repeat along the these diagonals. Um, so all of those will sum to 18 and digits may repeat. And then we've got X sums. So the number outside the grid um, uh, in circles, it doesn't say that, but that's what it is, indicates the sum of the first X numbers. So looking at this one, if this was a three, then the first three digits here would sum to 14. If this is a four, then the first four digits would sum to 14. If this was a five, then somehow the first five digits would sum to 14. That's how that works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my time. I can see a lot going on. Let's give this a shot. So the most obvious thing I can see, although there's a lot of obvious stuff here, is these three digits um, have to sum to 24. So 7, 8, 9, the three highest digits I can put because those all see each other, sum to 24. 7 plus 8 plus 9 is 24. Now, this is a 17 cage. If this was 8, 9, these would already be 17 and this would have to be 0. So the 7 must be in here. And if this is 7, 8, it's 15 and this needs to be a 2. If it's 7, 9, it's 16, this needs to be a 1. Now, I think I can resolve that using this because this is a 3 clue. And if this was a 1, it would just be a single clue counting itself and this would have to be a 1. So if this was a, th um, it could be a two, and if it was a three, it would be summing three cells, and the minimum three cells could be is one, two, three, and this would have to be at least six. So this is a two, and in order to make these two cells sum to three now, this has to be a one, which looks down making this a two, which means these need to sum to 15, so there's no nine in them. This is seven, eight, and this is nine. I like how these three clues are working off each other. That's very cool. Now, what else can I tell? Well, this 42 comes into play now because an entire row of the Sudoku sums to 45. 45 minus 3 is 42. So those are the cells that will sum to 42. That is 7 cells. That becomes a 7. Ooh, 18. 18. I did look at that earlier and didn't actually realize what it was doing. Those cells need to sum to 18. The minimum I can put into three cells is one, two, and three, summing to six. I can do that three times. Three times six is 18. So all of these yellow cells are one, two, three. One and two here means that that's a three, and those are not three. One and two here means that's a three. Those are not three. The two looks up, making that the one and that the two. The two here looks across saying that's not the two. Okay, this 9 clue or this 14 clue? Let's look at this 9 clue, I think. Yeah, this 9 clue. This can't be a 1 because it would be a single 1 clue like down here. If it was a 2, that could work. Can't be a 3 and if it was a 4, it would be adding at least 4 cells. And the minimum 4 cells could be, even ignoring the fact that this is a 3, would be 1, 2, 3, 4, which sums to 10. So this is the 2. In order to get 2 cells to sum to 9, that's a 7. In order to get these 2 cells to sum to 11, that's now a 4. Actually, this 14 clue does do something because the minimum that could be is 4. 
And it can't be five because the minimum five cells could sum to would be one, two, three, four, five, which actually isn't possible anyway. But the minimum five cells could sum to would be one, two, three, four, five, which is 15. So that is a four. These are six. These need to sum to nine. So how do you get to... Yeah, no, they need... They don't need to sum to nine. 14 minus six is eight. They need to sum to eight. Can't use one seven because I can't use one in either of them. Can't use two six because there's two in the column. Could use three five. These are three and five. That three means that's the five and that's the three. Which puts three in one of those two. Don't know that it's the 21 cage. If I could knock 9 out of this cage, that might do something, but I don't think I can do that yet. Ooh, 8. Those cells there have to sum to 4. If I put a 2... No, no, more importantly, if I put a 3 anywhere along here, then I'd have two cells summing to 7, and the other two cells would have to sum to 1, and that's not possible. So I can't put a 3 anywhere. These are all 1 and 2, and that 2 sees that one, so that's a 1, and that 2 sees that one, so that's a 1. 4, 1, and 1 is 6. To get to 8, that's a 2. That's very clean. The 1 looks down, making that the 3, and I take 3 out of those. This 1 looks down, making that the 2, and that the 1. This 2 looks down, making that the 1, and that the 2, and I fully resolve the 18. Sudoku? Yeah, that's a two. Two, 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 and two looking into this box. Two, 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 two. I can put a two in this box. It must go there. What about threes? Well, this three looks across saying that's not the three, that's the three. Three is now in one of those two. One and three would be four, and that would need to be a 12. That's not the three, that's the three. Three, three, three is in one of those two now, and that three says it's not there, that's the three. Three is now up here. It's in one of those two. And three in this box, right. Three can't go here or in any of those. That's the three, which looks up saying that's not the three and that's the three. Ha ha, I have threed. I have threed my digits. For freedom! Um, I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't ask. Um, you will never take our freedom. Okay, seven is down here. Ooh, so seven can't go in any of those, and seven can't go in any of those. So we're seven in row seven, right there. Seven and one is eight, so that's an eight. Ha <laughs> ha, deductions. Eight is in one of those two, because it has to go in the row somewhere. Okay. This 14, right. How do you make 14 without an 8? I could use 9, 5. I can't use 8, 6. And 7, 7 is fundamentally wrong. So this is 5 and 9. So these are 4, 6, and 7. There's no 7 there. 7 is in one of those two. So 7 is in one of those two. I don't know that's helped me. I can see 1 is in one of those two. Okay, what haven't I used? I haven't used this 30 clue. I think that's the only clue, uh, and this 21 clue. They're all I haven't resolved. So I need to make 30. So I can't do it in four, because if I do it in four, then I need five digits summing to 15, which is technically possible, but not with an eight in it. So I can't do it in four. I can do it five, six. I can't use seven, eight, and nine would be 45. So this is five or six. If this is five, then these two digits, if this, if this is five, five plus 16 would be 21 and that would be a nine. So if that's a five, that's a nine. If this is a six, then it'd be six plus 16, which would be, six plus 16 would be 22 and that would be an eight. And that doesn't work. So this is nine and this is a five. No, that's wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. That's not right. If this is a six, then these are 22 and those would need to sum to eight. 
So it'd be six, two or four, four, and either way that doesn't work. So this is five, and now these do have to sum to it, and that is a nine. I got to the right answer, but I got to it for the wrong reason. Now I've got to it for the right reason. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is four or six, and the four makes that the six, and that the four, taking four out of there. Got to the right answer for the wrong reason, which is not good for a video, because while you may think that it's good for a video because I got the right answer, the comments. Oh, the comments. Nice comments are nice. But this is the internet. So, one, two, three, four, five. These are one, eight, and nine. And there's no one or nine there. That's an eight. Ha! Deduction. The five, nine is looking up, making that the one and that the nine. What's that? One, two, three, not four. Five, six, five or eight. Huh. I can be grumpy. I know. I've done it. One, six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are six, seven, and nine. There is no nine there. Okay, so what are these? If that's an eight, this could be six, seven, eight. Yeah, could work. Could work indeed. Okay, can I do more Sudoku somehow? Yes, yes I can. One, one means one's not there and one means one's not there. That's a one, which puts one in one of those two, but that one looks down saying that's not the one and that's the one. One, 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 one. Great. Two, 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 two. Great. Three, 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 three. Great. Four, four, four. Hmm. Ah, four is in one of those two, because that four sees those, and that four sees those. So four is in one of those two. So four is in one of those two, and that four looks down saying, not there, I can put in a four. Four is not in those, so four is in one of those two. Four is in one of those, but four is in one of those two. That's not resolving much. Five... No. What's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. There's no five there. Hmm. Okay. So the 21 cage is the only thing I haven't resolved? I think so. So what's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no five there. And there's no four there. Oh, there's no five there either. That's the six. So that's the four and that's the five. That puts four in one of those two by Sudoku, which means that's not the four. That's the four, which by pencil marks makes that the eight. Ha ha. Which is putting eight in one of the corners of box six. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, six, and eight. The six, seven is looking down saying that's not a six. And we know that's not a four because of that four. So these are four, five, eight. Yeah, it's got to be this 21 cage. And I'm not sure what to do because six, seven, eight is 21. And if I use a nine, I've got a bit more freedom and I still have places to put nines. Hmm. Where's four? No, I've got a four in this column. That's not the four. That's the four. So what am I missing from this column? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are five, six, seven. Must contain a five. Huh. If I could knock eight out of there. Well, like that's a nine. N Ooh. So that's a five and that's a nine. That's now a six. This is five, six, seven, and it's not five or six. That's a seven. This is a, f no, 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 wrong, wrong. That is still a nine. There is an eight in one of those two. These are five, six, seven, and eight, and this isn't five, six. So this is seven or eight. This is five, six, seven, or eight, and it's not six or seven. So this is five or eight. I'm not following this. Ha 
I have to put a nine in this row. There's a nine in one of those two. No, there's a five in one of these two. Five, six, seven, and nine. That can't be five or seven. So this is six or nine. Okay, so what's this column? One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. Five, six, nine, five, six, nine. I don't get it. Okay. Scanning fail. Unless I've made a mistake somewhere. This is seven, eight, nine for the row. It's not an eight. This is seven or nine. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm a little confused because I six, seven could make that eight. No problem. If this is, this is the only place a nine could be. So if there's a nine in the cage, it's there. So if, if this is six, seven, this is eight. I can't put an eight up here. So this can't be, a, the only way this could be six, seven is if this is six, seven, and this is eight. If there's a nine in the cage, it has to go there. And then these would have to sum to 12. I couldn't use six, six. So if there's a nine, that's a seven, and that would be a five. So this is five or eight, and it can't be a five. There it is. That's an eight. So this is six, seven, eight. That is the nine. There's no seven there. That's the seven. That's a little tricky. I like it. The eight makes that seven and that eight, which makes that seven. There's no seven in those. That's a five, six. Looking up, making that the seven and that the six. Yeah, I like that. The seven makes that the six and that the seven. The six makes that the five and that the six. The five makes that the eight. There's no eight there. There's no six here. This is a five, nine pair. Okay. The 8 makes that the 6, taking the 6 out of there. This is a 4-8 pair. The 6 makes that the 9, which makes that the 5 and that the 9. The 5 and the 9 make that the 6. So this is 5 or 8, and there's an 8 in the column. That's the 5, that's the 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there's a 5 in column 4 already. So that's the 4, that's the 5. The 4 looks down, making that the 8 and that the 4. The... Wait, have I got a mistake here? No, nine made that seven. So that's not the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The six looks down, making that the five, and that's the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine, and I'll use that eight to make that the nine, and that the eight, and that is the correct solution. 15 minutes and 53 seconds. Okay. I found this to be the most tricky part of the puzzle. But I thought the way these clues bounced off each other and everything at the beginning were really, really cool. And there was some really nice Sudoku in the middle. Really nice puzzle, Chaos. I like this one. Um, I think the saddest thing is Chaos has actually left the class. So I don't know if we're going to be seeing more puzzles from Chaos. I hope we do. Thank you, Chaos, for the puzzle. Um, thank you, Full Deck, and Missing a Few Cards for um, providing some more puzzles for the book. Thank you, Chatty Cathy, for yesterday's solve. And as always, good luck with your solving.